This is code.org. Let's see what we have. Static variable, constant, initializer, list, data structure. Now, guys, we've hit upon some of these. I do want to go through some, but then I want to point out how to use your own resources. Let's think about it. Static variable. So I know a variable is something you can assign a value to. A constant, well, I know constant. If something's constant, it doesn't change. So just with that knowledge, a variable that is shared by all instance of a class. Interesting. Okay, and then we got a structure for organizing, processing, retrieving, and storing data, a variable whose value cannot change once it has been established, a comma separated, okay, comma separated list of objects for an array given inside the curly brackets. So since this says list, and again, guys, guess if you're not sure. A structure for organizing, processing, retrieving, and storing. Well, maybe that's a data structure. A variable whose value cannot change. Constant could not change. A variable that is shared by all instances of a class. Well, this is all we have left for a static variable. However, thankfully, I can use my resources, and I don't need to guess, because code.org gives us so many. So, right, I'm going to go over here and head to Lesson Resources. And it looks like a constant's a variable whose value cannot change once it's assigned. Bam. Good. How about static? A variable that is shared. Got that one too. Let's head back over here and let me see. Maybe the lessons on uh, what does five say? Enhanced loop? Nah. Uh, post precondition? Not so much. Let's check out these guys. For loop, decrement, inc loop, not what we're looking for. Nope. Data structure. A structure for organizing. Oh, we got that one. Initializer list. Comma separated. Bam. Bam. Students, please always use your resources. Onward.